This is one of the coolest things I've seen in my entire life. Good morning guys, today I'm in Bologna, Italy and I met up with Maria and he is going to show me around the city, but not just show me around the city, we are going to taste Bologna. This city has the best reputation for food in all of Italy. And so, best reputation for food in the whole world. Yeah, probably it's the capital of food in the world, yeah. So I'm in for a treat, I'm really excited and I'm really hungry. So let's go check out what this city has to offer. I'm hungry as well, so let's go to have a breakfast, a classical Italian breakfast, no? We need a coffee. I yes. <laughs> oh, sweet, breakfast, stoked. <laughs> This, uh, this cafe is famous here in Bologna for local people. And they produce their own coffee. Uh, they make some blend and uh, yeah, many people also from abroad they come here to taste this coffee. It's, um, it's famous for the breakfast, so they have, in my opinion, the best cappuccino in the city. In Italy, uh, we have a strong culture about coffee, about espresso. So in the morning, coffee with milk is allowed, but after 11, just an espresso. All right, let's taste this world famous cappuccino. Oh, it's earned its reputation. It's really good. All right, on to the next place. Now we are going to a pasta lab. Uh, there are many sfoglinas, um, women from Bologna that usually make uh, homemade pasta. So I will show you how they roll the dough uh, and uh, how they make uh, some tortellini and other kind of pasta typical from, uh, from here, from Bologna, from the region. Sweet! Here we are, they are rolling the dough uh, to make some different kind of pasta. Uh, they are sfoglina, so they use a mattarello, the rolling pin. Here in Italian it's called mattarello. Only sfoglina use this kind of stuff, because for example other people now use the pasta machine because it's faster, but they have a lot of experience and they, the dough gets really thin. I mean, they are just cranking out so much pasta here every day. Yeah. And they're, they're so fast. Yeah. They're so fast. They have a lot of experience. Yeah. Here they are making a tortellino. It's a symbol of uh, Bologna's food. So the filling of tortellino is with uh, pork, ham, mortadella, parmigiano, eggs, and a little bit of nutmeg. Uh, they put the filling in the middle, and then they make a tortellino uh, with this shape. I'm seriously freaking out. This is one of the coolest things I've seen in my entire life. I feel like I'm Anthony Bourdain or something. <laughs> getting to explore Italy and taste the, the craft. It's like literally being formed right before my eyes. So now we're off to the city center, walk around and get our appetites up a little bit. Ciao, grazie. Ciao, grazie. Ciao, 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 bye. That was seriously one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And I think it's the most interesting stop of the tour actually, because it's really traditional here to make pasta, especially in Bologna. These are the two main towers of Bologna, Asinelli and Garizenda. This is one of the symbols of, uh, of the city. Man, that tower really is leaning. So why do Italians build so many towers that lean? <laughs> because Italians are bad, are bad building towers, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is the third stop. We are gonna taste uh, some salumi. Parmigiano and aceto balsamico here with a glass of wine. The pasta you saw before in the pasta lab they sell in this shop. All these products are from the region.
right, we're gonna taste some of this yeah. stuff. What, what do we have? Uh, so we have mortadella, prosciutto di parma, ciccioli, culatello, salame rosa, salame felino, parmigiano, and aceto balsamico. I'm gonna taste the parmigiano first. Yeah. And it's topped with balsamic vinegar, but it's been aged 15 years, so it's it's thick, it's like a syrup. Mm. Oh wow. Good? That's very good. And of course you have it with red wine. Always wine. Cheers, man. Thanks, Dad. This is the queen of Bologna, right yeah. here. <laughs> it's not a beautiful woman, but it's good. You guys are just gonna have to come here and try it yourselves. That's the, that's the best way to do it. Now we are off to watch. Yeah, let's go to the trattoria. Let's go. and taste uh, pasta from here so I suggest you tortellina and tagliatelle the best of Bologna I'm gonna take whatever you suggest yeah. okay I don't eat spaghetti bolognese that doesn't exist it's, it's an not... American invention oh so here in Italy especially in Bologna we eat tagliatelle has so much flavor in it. The broth, the broth even, is just like next level. They're, I've never had anything like it. All right, I'm gonna try this guy now. This is incredible. I can't even like describe how amazing this is. It's like a whole other food group. Here we are in Venice, finally. Look at here. It's literally a little window into a completely different place. That's so wild. We finally made it to our gelato destination. I couldn't think of a better way to finish an Italian feast. I mean, despite it being a little cold out, I still think it's a, it's worth getting a, a sweet treat. <laughs> this is supposed to be good. That's better than any of the gelato I had in Florence. I'm so rich and much phenomenal. The other cool thing about this place is that they actually make the gelato in the back. It's a big reason why it tastes so good. All right, man, well, that was an amazing tour of Bologna. I feel like I really got to taste the flavors of the city and some of the best food in the entire world. So thank you so much for showing me around and showing me all the amazing history here. Thank you, Dad. I'm glad you enjoyed my tour. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So if you guys want to taste all the stuff that I tasted and get to see this city from a local's perspective, you need to hit this guy up. If you come here, you absolutely have to join his food tours. And I'm gonna link his website and all the social media stuff down in the description. So make sure you guys check him out, follow him, and don't forget to subscribe for more travel videos post several times a week. I'll see you guys soon. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>